Hey guys, this is Andy with Bold Grid Support, and today I was actually working on my site and wanted to add some extra navigation to my front page. Uh, I wanted to feature some posts that I want people to see, but my menu here at the top is pretty full already. So I thought it would be cool to add a small menu within the page to actually feature those posts. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a horizontal navigation menu within your posts and pages using Creo and the Post and Page Builder. So before we jump in, I actually wanted to add that navigation menu right here below this text where I said so. Uh, I have another tab open here where I actually went ahead and created the menu I want to use. Uh, I have these three posts on the history of vinyl records, magnetic tape, and CDs. Uh, but I already created and saved this menu, but I wanted to show you guys that I already have a menu prepared for this list. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and edit the home page and add that navigation. So I'm just going to click Edit Page here at the top. And once we load in, we just got to find our little section right there. All right, so here it is. So I want to add it right below here. So I'm going to click the Add Block Component button. And then I'm going to find our navigation menu. And right here, I can click this little arrow symbol. And then just drag it in right below there. All right, now it's going to come up, and I'm just going to give it a little title. And then I'm going to oh, hold on. I'm going to select that menu. And it should render in while it does that. I'm going to remove this since we don't need it anymore. But there we go. There it is. There's our navigation menu. So this technically works. I'm not too thrilled about the link color here. And the vertical presentation is not really good in this case. So I definitely want to make this a horizontal menu. So to do that, I can use some custom CSS. However, before I get into that, I do need to make one more adjustment to the navigation menu itself. So if I actually hover over it and click the three little bars to edit it and go under Advanced Control, uh, down on this menu, I can click on Custom CSS Classes. And then I'm going to give it a custom class, and I'm just going to call it Horizontal Menu. Uh, I mean, I am going to need this later. So if you choose to use a different class name, you're going to want to take note of that. But now that that's good, let's go ahead and hit update. So that'll save our changes. Perfect. So now all I need to do is add the custom CSS. So let's go ahead and just go under appearance and customize and that'll take us to the customizer. Uh, I did do two previous videos on how to use custom CSS and the, uh, the, the custom CSS classes control. So if you're interested, I would recommend checking those out. I put a link to both of them in the description for you. But now that I'm in the customizer, I'm going to add our custom CSS once it loads here. But the custom CSS I am using is actually provided on the guide that I will also be linking in the description below. So now that this is in and we're loaded, I'm just going to retrieve that custom CSS from our guide here and scroll down so we can see our menu. And then I'm just going to add it to this CSS code box. And it should refresh for me here. There we go. There's our horizontal menu. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, as I said, I wasn't too thrilled about uh, the link color and it doesn't really stand out in comparison to this about us section so i did go ahead and write a couple more custom rules to just enhance this a little bit and i would recommend if you're interested to do the same but let's go ahead and just add that boom there we go now we got a nice fancy little horizontal navigation menu that leads you to my histories of recording technologies posts but I hope you guys found this demonstration helpful and informative. If you have any questions or if you want to know more, feel free to leave a comment below or head over to our support forums and other resources at boldgrid.com support. Thanks for watching.